welcome to a new class. Assalamu alaikum. Yangi darski khush kelipsiz. And in this video, we will be learning grammar. We will learn the topic of predicate endings. Tayyar misiz? Boshlari. So to start this lesson, we need to learn a little bit of vocabulary that will help us learn this predicate endings topic. And then we will learn the sentences in three formats, uh, when we confirm, when we negate, and when we ask. And then we'll have a little practice. Okay, so the words that will help us to practice predicate endings are some of the words that describe professions. Teacher, uktuche, say it with me, uktuche, 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 uktuche. Hi doche, hi doche, and pay attention to ch endings. Usually, ch endings describe profession like er in English, but not all the time because here you see some of them don't even have ch. Rassom, artist, actor, actor, oktoche, hi doche, rassom, actor, right? So we'll need some of the descriptions of nationalities. Uzbek, Rus, Kozak, which is Kazakh, right? This is obvious. And sometimes when we can define nationality with one word, we just add lik ending. America, lik. Mexico, lik. Khtoi, lik. Khtoi is China. America, Mexico is Mexico. Khtoi is China. So, and... We have two more words, khafa, which is sad, and khursan, glad. Usually we can say, I'm glad to meet you. Tanishkyanamdan khursantman. Tanishkyanamdan khursantman. Khursantman. Okay, so as you noticed, these are either uh, adjectives or nouns, right? And predicate endings work good when we have a sentence consisting of a pronoun and an adjective or a noun that describes a person, either his job, his nationality, his mood. So let's start from the first sentence, from me, man, blank, man. So here we can either put um, profession, mood, nationality, um, and the list can be uh, long. I will tell you later in the end of the class when we'll be practicing. So you um, can do that on your own. Man, blank, man. Let's take any word from our list. Let's take word teacher. Oktuche. So if I want to say I am a teacher, man, oktuche, man. And this is not a separate word, it's an ending, predicate ending. Pay attention that these two, they are somehow similar. One vowel is different. So this is literate language, and in dialect, this can be the same as this one. Man man. Man man. Or mian man. Let's try saying I'm an actor. Men aktör man. This means I'm an actor. Men Uzbek man. I'm Uzbek. Men Uzbek man. I'm glad. Men khursant man. Men khursant man. Men aktör man. Men Uzbek man. Men khursant man. Now, negative form is um, we need to add emas to our a sentence and put it before the predicate ending. Men aktör emasman. Men aktör emasman. Men uzbek emasman. Men khursant emasman. So if I'm trying to say I'm a teacher, I'm not actor, I would say men uktuchman. Men aktör emasman. Or if I'm trying to say I'm Uzbek, I'm not Russian. Right? I would say, men Uzbekman, men Rus emasman. 
Uh, and let's try doing the same thing with you, friendly you. Yeah, we have you, friendly you, when we, and we have you, respectful you. Sen, san. And in dialect, sen can sound like san. San, okhtuch san. Or sen, okhtuch san. Sen, okhtuch san is literate format form. And san, okhtuch san is dialect. Sen, aktor san. You're an actor. Sen, Uzbek san. You're, an, you're Uzbek. Sen, khursan san. You are glad. You are not glad. Sen khursant emasan. You are not Uzbek. Sen Uzbek emasan. You are not actor. Sen aktor emasan. And the next form is he or she. And this is the easiest form because there's no endings. We don't add anything to words like actor, Uzbek, glad. And you are not actor. You are not Uzbek. You are not glad. So it's just, we just use it the way it is. Hu aktor. Saida Uktuche, Saida Uzbek, Saida Hursant, Saida Aktor Emas, or U Uzbek Emas, U Hursant Emas. Okay, and if so far this is way a lot to digest, stop the video and you know, practice on your own. Take the profession uh, that describes you, talks about you or your close ones, and practice telling this. Take any profession, nationality. If you can't find a word to a nationality, take the country name, add leak, and then try doing this. And then try doing the negative form. And then continue watching the video. Here's my practice. Confirming and negation. Confirmation, negation, and etc. I, he, uh, I, uh, you, friendly you, and he or she. Mian Uzbekman, I'm Uzbek. Mian Rusemasman, I'm not Russian. Sen Uzbeksan, you, my friend, you are Uzbek. Sen Uzbeksan, Sen Rusemasan, you're not Russian. Ooh, so we're talking about someone uh, behind or be him or her. U Uzbek, U Rusemas. Okay, so far we looked at this, 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 right? And now we'll look at these, plural form. And before we move on to this, I just want to highlight that they, pay attention that they are similar, right? And even plural format, these are identical, sis, sis. And sis, to remind you, is either you, as you respectful you, or you as a group of people. And sometimes we even, in, in conversational Uzbek, we even, we can drop this. We can drop pronouns and just say this. For example, instead of saying, Mian uktu chuman, which means I'm a teacher, I can say uktu chuman, without mian. Right? When we want to shorten it, when we want to be quick. Biz uktu chumas can be uktu chumas. Okay? So, biz uktu chumas. Sis, uktuch sis, vlad uktuche. Again, here there's no ending. And pay attention how I'm reading miss, bis, sis, short e, man, san, miss, sis. Okay, let's take our word, like I'm Uzbek, I'm not Russian, and do it. We are Uzbek, we're not Russian. Biz Uzbek mas, biz Rus emas mas. Again, short e, short e. Biz Uzbek mas, biz Rus emas mas. If this simple uh, is not about you, take the word that defines you and do it with me. Don't say this one. Say your word and do these with me. Okay? Like now, pronounce your word. It can be America lik, Britannia lik, uh, Mr. lik. You can Google it, pause the video, Google it, and then come back. Okay, and then Bis Uzbekmas, Bis Rusemasmas. Sis Uzbeksis, Sis Rusemasis. Sis Uzbeksis, Sis Rusemasis. U Ular Uzbek, Ular Rusemas. And sometimes 
pay attention here, it was just the word, the nationality, Uzbek, Rusimas. And sometimes it can be Uzbek Lar, Rusimas Lar, to highlight um, that even when we are talking about someone, this is one person, it's not many, like they, we're talking about one person. But when we are talking about him or her, uh, behind him, we just want to add little respect. So we add lar, which is uh, the official version of lar is plural form. But in this case, we're talking about one person in, um, in respectful manner. Okay, so, so far we worked, we practiced this word. Let's take some other, for example, rasom or aktor. And maybe hafa, which is sad, khursant, glad. Let's take those words and practice. Let's take rasom, artist. Men rasomman. Sen rasomsan. U rasom. Biz rasommus. Siz rasomsiz. Ular rasom. Or hafa. Hafa is sad. Mien hafa man. Sen hafa son. U hafa. Biz hafa mas. Siz hafa siz. Ular hafa. Okay, emas. Let's take, let's say we are not sad. Mien hafa emas man. Or I'm not sad. Mien hafa emas man. Sen hafa emas son. You are not sad. U hafa emas. He or she hafa emas. Not sad. Biz hafa emasmus, we are not set. Sis hafa emasus, you are not set. Ular hafa emas. Okay, we reached, we covered um, basic sentences, like when we are confirming something, negative sentences, and now we reach to questions with sentences. And actually, when you learned the phrase, how are you? You already learned predicate endings because we're over here, Yaxha Mrs. Assalamu alaikum Saida. Yaxha Mrs. We are already using predicate ending here. But one little uh, notion, like one little detail. M is question ending, right? And and here it's not ending all the time, it's like suffix. And pay attention that over here it's in the end, but here it's in the almost in the middle. When we are saying Yakshamasis, like here, or Yakshamasan, you, san is you, friendly you, Yakshamasis is respectful you, or you as a group, m comes in the middle. In all other cases, like in all other four pronouns, we have I. He or she. So I let's let me open the table so it will help me do it. Men hafa man me. Or let's use this word as let's say this word as blank for now. Men blah 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 man me. Sen blah 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 misan. Pay attention to me. U me. Bus mis me. Sis, uh -huh, Mrs. Ular, uh -huh, me. So, sen, you, friendly you, and respectful you, or many you, they are different. In all other cases, men, u, bes, ular, me is in the end. It's an ending. Um, now let's take a word and practice it. Okay, and I started with hafa, set. So, am I sad? Mien hafa man me. And let's do all the, uh, all the ones that where me is in the end first. Mien hafa man me. Am I sad? U hafa me. Is he or she sad? Bis hafa me. Are we sad? Ular hafa me. Are they sad? Sien hafa me san. Are you sad? Sis hafa me says, you respectful you said, okay, and this can be a lot to digest, a lot to uh, understand. So you can pause the video here, 
take other words, other the adjectives, and use these constructions with other adjectives. And when we are saying not, like we have the fourth version, right? Uh, when we confirm, we negate, we, uh, and then we ask. And the fourth version can be when we uh, ask and negate. For example, um, am I not sad? Mien hafa emas man ma. So emas comes here. But this is the fourth version of the sentence. If you learn the first three, the fourth is will be very natural to, to, to say it. For example, aren't you a teacher? So first we should learn to say you are a teacher. Sen oktuche san. Sen oktuche san. Now then you are not teacher. Sen oktuche emasa. Aren't you a teacher would be Sien Ochtuche Emas Masa. Okay, so the fourth form is easy to understand when you learn the first three. And pay attention that emas sometimes become he it becomes mas. Dushamba mas, khursant mas, uzbek mas, like not separate word, but it becomes like an ending. Okay, and practice. Let's practice. I'll give you some of some tasks to practice and please leave your assignments in the comments below. I will of course read them, comment them um, and be glad if you will do more than I requested. So we pick popular people and we'll try to describe. We'll talk about their name, nationality, profession and here as I said in the beginning, I can give you a longer list. For example, we can talk about their characteristics, like we can describe who they are, their personality, whether they are clever, uh, whether they are smart, kind. So all of those adjectives also add to this list. And here are my people, and I thought that these people would be really, uh, I don't know, they are so popular that everyone knows and we'll try to describe the first one Elon Musk and this is how we do it we try to talk about Elon Musk as if we're talking about him um, as a, like behind him right we're just discussing him so then he becomes ooh, 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 which is he he is Elon Musk then we'll talk to talk we'll try to talk to Elon Musk as if we're talking to him, we're standing in front of him, and he's our friend. And we're saying, in a friendly ma manner, you are Elon Musk. And then we'll try to talk to him in a respectful manner. Okay, so, bu Elon Musk, this is Elon Musk. U erkek, so to this list, I added also sex. Erkek, ayol, men, woman, right? So, it's not necessary, but I'm just trying to give you more examples to practice predicate endings. Bu Elon Musk, bu u erkek, u he, he's, he's man, u uh, amerikalik, he's from USA, u khtoilik emas, he's not Chinese, khtoilik. And again, here, the more you say he is, he is, he is, all of your he is sentences can become easily he's not. So whenever you say Erkek, I could say he is not woman. Ayol emas. U Amerikalik, u khtoilik emas. U tadbrkor. Tadbrkor means entrepreneur. And uh, here I can use other uh, versions of profession. And in the second version, I'm talking to him as if he's my friend. Hey, Elon Musk. Salam, Kalisan. Sen, Elon Musk, san. Sen, erkek, san. Ayol emas san. Actually, we don't say that to people. We don't say you're a man, you're not woman. Of course, it's obvious. When you look at person, it's obvious. But again, I'm just trying to give you more examples to practice with, right? Sen erkek san, sen ayol emas san, sen amerika lik san, sen khtoilik emas san. You, my friend, are American. You, my friend, khtoilik emas san. You're not Chinese. Sen Tadbrkorsan, you, my friend, uh, you are an, interp an entrepreneur. And the last version is, no, not the last. Um, 
and one of the version is to practice talking to people as if you're saying you respectfully, right? Siz, Elon Musk, siz. Siz, erkek siz, siz, ayolama, siz. And again, in real life, we don't tell that to people. We just, it's obvious. But here, I've listed it to practice. Siz, erkek siz, siz, ayolama, siz. Siz, amerikalik siz. Siz, hatoylik emas siz. Siz, tadbir korsiz. And the last form, this is the last form. We're asking, are you Elon Musk? Are you American? Are you entrepreneur? So, siz Elon Musk, me siz. Siz Amerikalik, me siz. Pay attention to me, because this is you, friendly you. Or if it was um, respectful you. And if it was friendly you, the me part, uh, me suffix would be still here. Siz Amerikalik, me siz. Siz tadbirkot, me siz. So, your task is to pick any people you can take them from my list. You can make your own list and describe them in at least three or four ways. As if you are talking to them behind them, as if you are talking to them as if they're your friend, as if you're talking to them and you're talking respectfully, you're interviewing or you're just saying you are this, 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 and as if you're asking them. If you do this exercise, you will learn, you will master predicate endings and it will be easy for you to understand that predicate endings have to be part of the description of people when we talk about them uh, and when we say you respectfully and friendly. Only it's not part of it when it's he or she. I hope this lesson was helpful, was useful. Albatta kommentarilarda izohlarda o'z fikringizni qoldiring. Let me know what you think about this, this lesson. What you learned? Was it new? Was it something you knew already? Uh, and I will be waiting for your assignments and I will be commenting um, your tasks. Rahmat, sog' salomat bo'ling. Keyingi darsda ko'rishguncha xayr.